Welcome to Lecture Online and continue with nuclear physics. Now we're going to look at the volume of a nucleus. And before we start talking about the volume of the nucleus, let's talk about the volume of a single nuclear particle like a proton. It has been discovered that the radius of a proton, which is about the same size as the radius of a neutron, is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 cubic meters. Not just meters, but, oh, wait a minute. No, we're talking about the radius. So no, the radius is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 meters, linear, mo linear units. All right, so how do we get volume out of that? Well, the volume, by definition, is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, and so that would be the volume of a proton because we're using the radius of a proton. Of course, that's assuming that the shape of a proton is spherical, and that's probably a good assumption. Plugging those numbers in, this is equal to 4 thirds times pi times 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 meters, and we cube that. That's what I was looking for. All right, so 1.2 e to the 15 minus. Uh, let's cube that, and then we multiply that times 4, divide by 3, and multiply times pi, and we get a volume of 7.238 times 10 to the minus 45 cubic meters. Now obviously 10 to the minus 45 is a very, very small number, but that's the volume of a single proton. If we now take the assumption that a nucleus of an atom is composed of a number of protons and neutrons and that they all will push themselves in a spherical shape, we then came up with this relationship that the radius of any nucleus is equal to the radius of a proton times a to the one-third power. Now, a is the number of nuclear particles in the nucleus, the number of nucleons, which means the number of neutrons and protons. So let's say we have, for example, a uranium-238. Of course, uranium-238 has 92 protons, and therefore, 238 minus 92, which is 146 neutrons. So, um, so that would be uh, 92 protons and Subtract 238, 92 from 238, that gives us 146 neutrons, a total of 238, 238 nucleons. So, what would be the volume of uranium-238? Well, again, we use the same thing. We use the volume is equal to the radius of a single nuclear particle. Oh, first of all, uh, let's find the radius first, before, otherwise we can't find the volume. So. Let's start out by finding the radius first. So the radius of a uranium-238 is equal to the radius of a single proton times the total number of nuclear particles, which is 238, raised to the one-third power. All right, let's do that. This is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 meters, and then multiply that times 238 to the one-third power. So, take 238, raise that to the one-third power, so let's write that down, that's equal to 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 meters, times, this would then become 6.197, which means that the radius of a uranium nucleus is a little bit more than six times the radius of a single proton. So multiply that times, two point, whoop, Let's try that again. Uh, 238 raised to the one-third power equals 6.197. Multiply the times 1.2 e to the 15 minus equals, and so we get a radius of 7.4366 times 10 to the minus 15 meters. All right, so that's the radius of a uranium nucleus. So what's the volume of uranium nucleus? So the volume of the uranium-238 is equal to 4 thirds pi times its radius cubed, so 7.4366 meter, oh, times 10 to the, times 10 to the minus 15 meters. We cube that. So take this amount, cube it, and then multiply it times 4, divide by 3, times pi equals, and so we get 1.7227 times 10 to the minus 42 cubic meters. So that's the volume 
of uranium nucleus, just the nucleus, not of course the whole atom, just the nucleus. The atom is much bigger because of the orbits of the electrons. Now let's do something interesting. Let's divide the volume of a uranium nucleus by the volume of a single proton. And of course we should then get the total number of particles in the nucleus. So let's find out. So the ratio of the volume of the U238, uranium-238, divided by the volume of a single proton. So, the volume of a uranium-238 is 1.7, 227 times 10 to the minus 42 meters cubed, and divide that by the volume of a single proton, which was 7.238 times 10 to the minus 45 cubic meters, and let's see what we get. So divide that by 7.238 e to the 45 minus equals, and guess what? That comes out exactly to 238, which is of course what we expect. So you can see that the volume of a, of a uranium, uh, uranium nucleus divided by the volume of a single proton is 238, which is the total number of nucleons in nucleus, which seem to indicate that the volume of any nucleus divided by the volume of proton will always be equal to the total number of nucleons in that nucleus, depending no matter what the nucleus is. So there you have a feel for how to calculate the, vol the volume of a nucleus and what it means.